Hi, this is Alex from phpacademy.org and this is a video tutorial for the new Boston. Now in this video tutorial and the uh, video tutorials that are going to come after this in, in this short server series are talking about a predefined um, variable in PHP called dollar underscore server. Now you may have seen this before if you've dealt with um, PHP before. Um, server is a predefined set of uh, environmental information and it allows you to um, let's just go back to our it allows you to um, access certain information about the page the user uh, requests that have been sent for example so in this video we're going to be looking at the file name and how it can be useful to us now how do we go about doing this so I've already shown you um, the uh, the variable name which is dollar underscore server so it's much like uh, things like dollar underscore post and dollar underscore session so if you're learning PHP for the first time you're probably starting to see some kind of resemblance to um, with all these so what do we do if we want to echo out or display to the user the f current file name of the PHP script that we're on. Now you wouldn't necessarily in everyday applications want to do this because you know the user can already see um, the file name and um, we're working with index.php at the moment um, we've got this error because we haven't specified anything but yeah we, we can already see the script name so why would we want to do this? Well it's useful for us when we're doing things like submitting forms for example you um, specify your um, the uh, the key inside of here so I'm gonna say uh, script underscore uh, name now what this is gonna do is it's gonna take uh, the script name and it's gonna apply it into a variable so I'm gonna say script name you can just echo it out straight away like this but I'm gonna put it into a variable so it's just a bit easier to uh, see what we're doing so we've got the script name here and we're using the predefined server variable um, and this is the environmental information that we're, we're putting through so we've got script underscore name in capital letters now we're echoing this script name so let's test this and see what we get okay so we've got forward slash series forward slash server forward slash index now you can see this corresponds somewhat to my URL in the sense that we're not including the uh, domain name at the moment I'm working locally on my computer but we we don't include the we're not including the domain name so why is this useful now let's say we wanted to submit a form but we didn't know the file the name that the the, um, the name of the file that the user was actually currently on for example let's create another file and we'll put a form in and we'll have the action of this um, well we'll leave the action out that's the point so method equals uh, post and in here we'll just create a submit button uh, equals submit uh, name equals submit and value equals submit now I've given this a name so we can keep track of when this button has actually been pressed so let's save this as header .inc.php. Now what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to include it in the top of my script. So you should have already had a look at the include uh, function already. So header.inc.php. Now what this is going to do is, is it's going to include this inside of our script. So let's just check that out and see what happens. Okay, so now we've included this button here. Now what happens if we want to, um, I mean at the moment I've left action blank what happens if we had a, another page so I'm going to create another PHP page here um, another page.php what happens if we had another page and we were including this file as well so header.inc.php now what I want to do is I want to have let's just get rid of this for now I want to submit this um, this form I want the action to be updated depending on what page I'm on because if I was to say have this button here but I I had um, let's say if is set um, dollar underscore post submit echo um, we could say anything really um, uh, process one. This process might be, say, registering a user, if that makes sense. 
Um, let's just copy and paste this over to the other page but we can now call this process two. So on index.php, we're dealing with process one, and on here, we're dealing with process two. However, we've got the same form. So what happens if we want to, say, submit it to, and this information, the button come back to index.php? Or on this one, the button to come back to index, uh, another page.php. So in here, I could type index.php. So we've solved half of our problem. So let's refresh the page and I click submit and it comes up with process one but now if we access the other page you can see that when I click submit we go back to index.php however what I want to do is stay on another page.php but process this here so how are we going to go about this well the answer is simple we've already looked at uh, this um, we've already looked at this uh, uh, script file name or script name so what what we can do is we can specify a full uh, file name so we could say um, script name equals and uh, and um, this could be relative obviously to server and in here we could type let's say um, script uh, name now what's happened here is we have um, we've created um, um, something that's going to be dynamically updated depending on what page they're on so this header include is included on index and another page but when we're on index this will be different and when we're on another page this will be different again so let's change this action here and update it dynamically so we can set php tags to um, to put this in here and we can just echo out script name so now what's going to happen is whatever page we're on Let's just view the source. You can see that form action equals another page.php there with the uh, the long um, the file names that we're well, the directories that we're currently in. However, when we're on index.php, you can see that it's automatically changed again. So obviously this isn't going to work at the moment. Well, it will because um, just because of the way everything's set up. So um, let's just go over to another page. And we click submit and we've done that so we've used the same form to process but on two different pages now how would this be useful in a real-life application now let's say this submit button had a form field which was username and password um, and you wanted to um, log your users in but keep them on the same page as they are you could use a form to log your user in everything could work absolutely fine and then what you could do is using this variable that we've uh, we've set here you could redirect them back to the page that they submitted the user login from so most websites you have the username and password at the top of the page and you are returned to the page that you are currently re viewing before you logged on so that's a really useful way of using uh, that server predefined environmental variable